Hello, in the video coming up, I'll show you how you can install the full Microsoft Office package on your Chromebook. So it's quite remarkable really that I'm doing a video in 2023 where you can install a full Microsoft Office package on your Chromebook because if you go back a few years ago, that was just not possible. Now, I'm not gonna say this is gonna be for everyone, uh, because you can use Microsoft 365 online, which I've done a video, video about previously, and that works great. Um, and to do this, you also need to install Windows on your Chromebook, and I've done a video about that as well. So you would have to first follow the video about installing Microsoft Windows on your Chromebook, and have a look at my channel, and you can see that video. But one thing what's good about Office 365, once you subscribe to, you can use Office 365 for free, but there's also a subscription service which is £5.99 or $6.99 a month. But once you've done that, it gives you access to Office 365, but it also gives you the ability to download the full Office suite onto five different Windows computers. So if you've got a Microsoft Windows computer, you can download it on there, but also on a Chromebook, if you've got Windows set up on your Chromebook, you can download it on there as well. Now that's good when you consider things like Outlook and Excel um, and PowerPoint and stuff like that. You can use that on your Chromebook using a PWA and that works all fine. But one program I absolutely love because I've used it a lot in many different jobs that I've had previously is Microsoft Access. And Microsoft Access is a really powerful database program where you can essentially make your own programs. And if you work, if you work in an office in certain environments, I'm sure you've possibly done this previously yourself. And with Microsoft Office, it's not something that's available online because it's just not, they've obviously not been able to use all the coding to get it to work on an online web browser. It just doesn't work. So the only way you can use Microsoft Access is if you actually download the program onto your computer. And the good thing is you do get access to Microsoft Access as well. So the Office Suite, when you download it and install it onto Windows on your Chromebook, you'll also have access to Microsoft Access, which is absolutely great. And don't listen to any rumors. There's been rumors going around for years about, oh, Microsoft Access is going and it's, it's gonna be, or, that's not the case. Microsoft Access is used by millions of companies around the world. There's so many companies you've got in-house programs built on Microsoft Access. Microsoft Access isn't about to annoy all them by getting rid of it, so don't listen to that. But essentially, what you would need to do, so this is now in Chrome, yeah? And in the background, if I close that down, I've got my Windows here. And as you can see, I've got Excel there, but I've got all the other ones as well. So it's not just Excel. I've got Access there, like for example, which I was talking about. So you've got access to Microsoft Access, which if you've used database programs, I'm sure you're not gonna disagree with me that this is a fantastic database program because it isn't just as simple as just creating a database. You can create a full on program and it can be made for multiple users you can manipulate the data you can add forms startup forms you can put them into your own programs it's a really powerful database so that's why i think if you did want to use it then you might want to use excel locally as well and you've got that but access is the one i think is the key one for me is why i'd want to install microsoft office locally on the fully fledged programs on my Chromebook. And it works, I've had a go. It's changed a bit since the Access I use, which I think I think it was Access 2010. This is a later version, but all the, all of it's roughly the same. You just gotta spend a bit of time just to understand that it's slightly changed since then. But then of course, you've also got Outlook as well. Um, the, where have we gone? We've gone past Outlook. You've got Outlook there, you've got OneNote, and you've got Word. So it all downloads as an Office suite. So how do you do it? So first of all, you would need to subscribe to Office 365. And as you can see on my Chromebook here, I've got Office 365, Microsoft 365 here. 
So when you go to office.com from Chrome OS, like that, you'll see that it goes into here. And then here you've got my account. So if I click on my account here, and then it comes up with my subscriptions. Here I've got two computers. These two Windows computers, although I do have a separate Windows computer, it's not registered on this actual account. But these two Windows computers here are actually my virtual machines on my Chromebook. The one I no longer use, so I need to delete it. And that's the home version, which I believe is that, Windows 10 Home, because I decided it's better to use Pro version. So if you're gonna watch my Windows 10, um, a video about installing Windows on your Chromebook, I would go with Pro over Home. Home works, but it's to, you do get a better experience with Pro uh, for setting permissions and stuff like that, which I'm not gonna go into, but that, that it is better. So Windows 10 Pro here. So they, 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 they are the two um, computers I've got registered on this account. So that means that both of these two, although the one's not used anymore, can have the Office downloaded onto them. And you can download it onto five, like I says. Now, from here, because I'm in Chrome OS, if you went to services and subscriptions, you'll see here, install premium Office apps, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and more. But then when um, on, a P, on your PC or Mac, but then if you click on there, you won't have the option, but that's exactly what you'd expect. And that's because you're doing it with inside Chrome OS. So it recognizes it's Chrome OS. So it's not gonna give you the option to download them. So what you essentially need to do is just do this with inside Windows. So once you've installed Windows, so if we just close them down there, and now we go into Windows, you just need to go to office.com via Windows. Now, Using the internet on Windows when you've got it on a virtual machine on your Chromebook, it is a little slow. So you've got to accept that that's the case. It is a little slow. But you just essentially go to office.com. So we're visiting exactly the same website, but instead of being with inside Chrome OS, we're inside your virtual machine Windows. And it will come up slightly different. But from here, I just wait for it to load up. Just take some time, as I says, it's just, I think it's to do with security that the browser, um, when you're using the internet for it via Windows. So as I would personally, apart from when you wanna do things like this, where it needs to be with inside Windows, I would just go down to the bottom and use the browser with inside Chrome if you wanna use the internet. Okay, but once you're inside here, so this is with inside Windows, up here, you've got that diamond there, my benefits, you just click on there, And then apps and benefits. And then you've got here, install Microsoft 365 on all your computers. And it's got them here. Like that. Okay, so from here, you can click on there, or if you if you click, if you don't see this install apps here, just click on there, and then you just follow the process and you'll be able to see them. But if you go here, install apps, and because you're doing it with inside Windows, so it's a bit, this, I'm not, this part is a bit hit and miss, so it might be slightly different for you. So first of all, the one thing I would say, there where I clicked on there, that's sometimes what you have to do. That install apps isn't always there, or if you just wait for a minute or two, hopefully it will show up and you click and click on it there. There's a few routes to get to where you need to be, so it makes it difficult to show you exactly. But from here, all I did to get to here is click on install apps, and that goes to this here. And from here, you can simply choose the language and the version, the default version, and click on install and then follow the process. Now, the process is hard work because you're doing it with inside Windows Virtual Machine and on a Windows Virtual Machine, 
the browser, the internet browser is really slow and clunky. So it will possibly frustrate you because it is frustratingly slow. But you essentially click on there and you follow the actual guide and it will then let you install it. So when you click on install, it will start downloading Office onto your computer. Now that in itself takes a long time. So certain things I add, for example, which I'll explain, see there it's downloading Office, which I didn't want it to do, but that's fine. It's downloading it there. That actually took, that downloaded it pretty quick, um, but it took me a lot longer than that when I did the original download. But as you can see, it's opened up Office Setup.exe. So I'll just open that file and that's when it opens up and you can install it. I'm not going to do that because I've already got it installed on my computer. But then when you do that, again, it takes some time to do. It's quite a clunky process. And one thing I would say, I had a dialogue box in front of me saying it's waiting for information and it was going around and it was taking a long time. I was thinking, what is going on? And when I minimized the dialogue box or minimized the window here and then opened it up, I saw there was a pop-up box behind it that it was waiting me to click on. And this is what I mean by it's a bit of a clunky process. So do, don't expect it to be a really easy process. But once you've downloaded the Office and you've opened it up, then you can essentially install the full Office suite on your Chromebook, which is great. And the good thing is you can do it on five, so there's no problem. And if you do have to take get rid of your Windows install for whatever reason, that's fine. Because earlier on where I showed you where I had my computers there, if you're no longer using that Windows install on your Chrome because something went wrong, for example, you simply delete that computer and they'll take away the rights for using Office, the full Office suite for that particular computer. And then you can use it on another install that you do. So it's what I would do when you've got it showing here as downloaded, you just saw it, but it's popped off. I would have just opened that file, that exe file. If obviously you missed that, then just remember you are essentially just using Windows. So that should be in your downloads folder. So if you just open up your Windows Explorer and go to downloads and hopefully it's in there. Yeah, there we go. So that's the office setup I did a few weeks ago. That's the one you'd use. And that's the one I've just downloaded this second. So um, not too sure what a different logos. Maybe because I've already downloaded one, so it, it, I don't know. But essentially, when you do do it, that, that the Office setup will come here and you just simply install it. And like I said, you don't need to worry about, because a virtual machine on Windows, for example, I'm going to wipe this computer because I need to do other things. So I'm going to have to wipe my um, Chromebook. That will obviously get rid of my virtual desk. And then if I want to use the Windows again on it, which I will do in the future, I'll have to go through setting it up and then I ain't got to worry about, oh, what about that office being just registered to that address because you can register it to five different computers. And simply, if you don't want to it on one, you just take away the access. The window that will still stay on the computer, it just won't let you have all that functionality. So it's a really good way. And like I said, it's not gonna be for everyone. But if you do want to use fully fledged programs, like if you are gonna use Windows on your Chromebook and it works well, you might wanna use Outlook, you might wanna use Excel, you might wanna use Access, and it's just a great way of doing it. And all of that's with inside that subscription cost of 599 pounds a month for $6.99 a month, depending on where you live. Um, so I think it's great value. And if you do own other computers, you might also own a Microsoft computer, you can get Office on there all for that subscription. So I do think it's really good value. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.